Ever since I was a little kid, there's always been the stigma that they say that bigger is always better. I mean, that's the American way, right? Why get a small soda at the good old Golden Arches when you can get a large soda for literally the same price? It was a dollar. I think it's like a dollar fifty now. Thanks for everything that is going on and price increases everywhere. It sucks. I bet you thought I was gonna make a joke to, uh, ne never mind. Anyways, while everything else seems to be getting bigger and better, there's always been a debate in the truck world regarding what you really need. Now sure, right, most diesel trucks come in both three quarter and one ton variants, but what really is the difference? Do you actually need a one ton or will a three quarter ton do everything you need to and more? Does one ride better than the other? What about lift kits? How do they fit? What about track bars? Good news here is I'm Dustin with the Custom Offsets. You guys can follow me on Instagram and my Duramax build at dusty.co. And today we're gonna be diving headfirst into the three quarter ton versus one ton debate to truly find out is bigger actually better? Let's get it. Now regardless, if you have a half ton, a one ton, or even one of those wicked cool F450s like D-Max Rhino has, if you're looking for wheels and tires, we got you. I was in the warehouse the other day actually, and we literally have hundreds of different wheels and tires in stock in all sorts of sizes and finishes from some of the biggest names out there. We're talking guys like Fuel, Vision, XD. We've got them and the best part is that with quick delivery, you can get them in as little as seven days right to your door. Plus, if you pair them with a set of tires, because let's be real, you're gonna need tires, we'll even mount them, we'll balance them, and we'll ship them to you for free as long as you're in the lower 48 states. You guys can check that link in the description to learn more and to see all the wheels and tires we have in stock. Now, when we look at the major differences between a three quarter and a one ton truck, we should probably start with the obvious, payload capacity and gross vehicle weight ratings. Now, payload capacity or the amount of weight that you can put in the bed of your truck is going to change from truck to truck, but as a general rule, you can bank on the fact that a 250 or a 2500 is going to have a lower payload capacity than its 350 or 3500 counterpart. It's just the way it works. Bigger numbers, more better. Now, you may be wondering why Ford or GM or even Ram may want to do this, and it's actually quite simple. Simply put, the three quarter ton variants of these trucks have less leaves in the rear leaf pack typically have le slightly lighter duty axles, and overall are just a little less stiff when it comes to suspension, which hence why you have a lower payload. And while this means less payload rating, it does mean that typically these three quarter tons are gonna ride better than their one ton brothers. For example, right, if you go out to the old Ram website, and you look at a brand new 2022 Ram 2500, it's going to have a payload rating of just over 4,000 pounds. It's also gonna have a towing capacity of about 20,000 pounds, depending on how you option it, somewhere between 16 and 20,000. If you step up to the 3,500 trucks, this goes into the somewhere in the low 30,000 pound range, right? Which is pretty impressive enough because 30,000 pounds is a lot. And then if you're looking to really lay it out on the table and you want a dually that has the tow capacity, it's gonna jump to a massive 37 freaking thousand pounds. For reference, there are semi-trailers that weigh less than that on the interstates today, meaning that in theory, you could hook a Ram dually to a semi-trailer and just tote it around without, you know, breaking that manufacturer's rated spec. It's pretty impressive, honestly. Move over, Toyota. Looks like there's gonna be someone else moving space shuttles around Los Angeles now. It's gonna be a Cummins. It's gonna be out there just driving around with his dually, towing stuff around. It's gonna be a great time. Now, not only is this important for towing and handling, but gross vehicle weight ratings also are important if you're planning on lifting your truck. Here's why. Some states have legal lift height laws, which is pretty lame, honestly. With that being said though, it's pretty tough for law enforcement to know exactly what each truck is since so many of them look so similar. So to help circumvent this, they typically base those lift laws around your gross vehicle weight rating, which can typically be found on a decal on the inside of the driver's door jam. Right, so a little sticker, when you open the door, sits right there, it says GVWR and then the number, right? Here's why all this is important though. In most cases, these lift laws only apply to three quarter ton trucks as the one ton trucks are rated for a higher GVWR than the law states. So if you're looking to lift your truck to the moon, a one ton may be for you. Speaking of lift kits, by the way, if you're looking to lift a dually, there's a few things that you should know before you get into it. Now, typically dually trucks are a bit more difficult to lift for a few reasons, but perhaps the biggest one is because the rear axle U-bolts and the blocks are specific to that truck. For this reason, you're gonna find a lot of manufacturers stating that their lift kits are only for single rear wheel trucks and that they won't fit a dually model. 
In our experience though, with a little bit of creativity, maybe some leg work, if you've got a buddy that does a little fab work on the side or something, you can maybe source some universal parts or build some custom blocks and then you can make a lift kit on a dually work just fine. There are also lift kits specifically engineered for duallys out there as well. Of course, this is a case by case basis and while we can't promise that it'll work for everyone, this is just what we found to be true. While we're on the topic of aftermarket part fitment, it's also important to note that between the three quarter and one ton trucks, there are some small differences in things like rear axles. Typically, when you look at the two, the axles in the one ton are gonna be bigger, beefier, and just built heavier for that added capacity that we talked about earlier. Now, while this doesn't seem like a huge deal in the grand scheme of things, right, it can be a bit of a challenge if you're looking to, you know, install things like traction bars, for example, which may need a different bracket or different hardware, longer U-bolts, et cetera, to mount to the rear axle on the truck. This can also create a challenge if you're looking to add rear lift bags, for example, like I did on the LBZ, right? Because again, that fitment's going to be a little bit different. Side note, by the way, listen, if you tow anything, those airbags are a literal lifesaver. There's nothing quite like loading a trailer up, seeing the truck squat, and then, you know, just push a little air into the bags and boom, you're riding smooth as silk down the interstate with Jared's dually broken on the trailer behind you. Jared, I'm sorry, really. The jokes just write the At the end of the day though, which one is really right for you? Is it three quarter ton? Is it one ton? Is it a dually? Is it single rear wheel? The answer to that question, like so many others and videos that we talk about here, is it really depends. If you're looking for a daily driver that you're going to tow every now and again, then a three quarter ton may be the best option for you. If you're looking for a heavy hauler or you're towing more frequently, then a one ton may be the best truck for your particular situation. And of course, you want to get into hot shot trucking or something, there's no better way to do it than with a dually. On top of that, much like everything else in today's market, it really just comes down to what you can actually get your hands on. For example, when I bought my LBZ, I looked high and low and had determined that I would buy either a three quarter or a one ton, depending on what I came across. And it just so happened that I found my one and only 2500 HD that I fell in love with, and the rest is history. But that's enough out of me. What do you guys think? Do you own a three quarter or a one ton? What's your favorite or least favorite part about owning one? Do you wish you had bought one over the other? Let us know down in the comments section below and as always be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.